everybody, Leah Newman here. I just wanted to take a minute and I'll start off my video today by saying thank you. Thank you for so much love, support, and encouragement from my very first video that I published last week. It, it just, uh, literally, there were several comments in particular that really brought tears to my eyes. So thank you so, so much for the love and encouragement. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start my second video. Woohoo! yay me. So um, today I thought I would share with you um, kind of an annual practice that I go through. Uh, my birthday's on Sunday, I'm turning 41, yay! <laughs> and part of my, part of my kind of uh, yearly ritual going into my birthday is to take a look at where am I? You know, this is a great time to look at where am I, where do I want to be, and maybe make some shifts that are going to help me get where I want to go. And you know, because my birthday is at the end of the year, this is a great time to kind of start that annual practice that a lot of us do at New Year. But I actually start in November so that I start thinking about these things so that, you know, I'm, I'm kind of taking those baby steps now in November maybe picking up that pace to a, a slow jog in early December so that I start almost, you know, picking up the pace even more late December so that January, when most people are just thinking about what they want, I'm already in a full sprint. Does that make sense? So, um, so this year, uh, this, this practice starts every year around my birthday in November. And what I do is I start by looking at where am I now? Okay, so I have some areas that I evaluate consistently every year. And those are, I'm going to take a look at my cheat sheet if that's all right. Um, those areas are relationship with myself, relationship with others. Now that could look like friends and family. It could also look like my romantic relationship. Financial freedom. Do I have the financial abundance that I want to create in my life? Uh, personal growth. As I mentioned earlier today in a different post, I'm a big nerd. So personal development is something that's that's really big for me. Spirituality, now for me, um, that doesn't necessarily look like religion. For me, that looks like um, connection to source. Uh, it looks like hmm, connection to self on, in some degree as well. Um, fun and relaxation, this is one that I really need to work on right now. Um, you know, being a type A personality and a get her, got, get her done kind of a girl, um, fun and relaxation seems to be the one that comes at the bottom. <laughs> I, you know, am I, am I making space to go on vacation and just go on vacation? <laughs> um, I have a tendency to go on vacation and go learn something or go on vacation and create something and one of the things that I would really like to create for myself is just go have fun um, yeah so that's what that area is for me health is an area of constant and never-ending improvement for me um, I'm always looking to learn something new that will take my height to an even higher level because I really do believe that health is wealth and then the last area is career or mission and as you've seen lately you know, this is an area that's really taking off for me and is in massive flux. So, um, so yeah, I look at these different eight areas of my pie, my wheel of life, uh, if you will. And I look at each of these areas each year and I ask myself, well, where are you? You know, on a scale of one to 10, what would you give yourself? And so, for example, in the area of my relationship to myself, this has really been an area of focus over this past year. Um, I would give myself probably around a seven. Um, I've really put a lot of energy and effort into, um, you know, cultivating consistent practices that help me practice self-love. For me, those of you that, that know me, um, I usually call this filling your tanks. So am I doing the things that light me up? Am I doing the things that make me feel like my best self every day? So in my world, that looks like spending time in nature. That looks like spending time being creative. And of course, puppy snuggle time. That's critical. 
<laughs> and so I would give myself a, like about a seven in that area. Um, some things that would allow me to experience it at an even higher level is something that's come into my awareness lately. Um, so for example, for me, that looks like meditation. And I know the benefits of meditation. I've experienced the benefits of meditation. And yet, it's not a consistent daily practice just yet. And so for me to get from a seven to say an eight or a nine, that would look like a more consistent practice there. Does that make sense? So as I share this video, it just occurs to me, I would really love it if some people would participate in this with me and maybe it could benefit you too. So again, step one is to look at your wheel of life. What would your areas be? And you can feel free to use mine or you can modify them to see what whatever fits best for you. So what are your areas and what grade would you give yourself? That's step one. Step two is where would you want to be? So for example, if you're at a level four, I hereby give you permission to want to work to a level six right now. That's okay. You don't, not everybody's got to be at a level 10, which by the way, I would say is pretty unachievable anyway. So, eh. You know, where do you want to be? Where, where are you working towards right now? And what would bridge that gap? Bridging that gap is step three. Where are you now? Where do you want to be? And what would bridge the gap? All right. So that's the first piece. I really hope you'll play along with me and I'll do another video in another couple of days so we can take the next step together. Sound good? Awesome. Have a great day. Bye everybody.